Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and today for lunch I'm going to make ramen noodle soup. That was the ice maker. Okay. I'm going to make ramen noodle soup. However, I do not use the flavor pack that is in here. And the reason I don't use the flavor pack is because the sodium level in the packet is 1,600 milligrams. That is actually very high. That's almost half my entire sodium content for the entire day. So I'm not going to do it just eating one, one instant noodle soup. So instead, I use these Kikoman miso soup packages. I ordered these from Amazon or in Kroger, Smith's, a lot of the Asian stores. You can also buy this. It's just a miso soup mix. And the sodium level in this entire pack is 760 milligrams. And then on top of that, I use an egg put in chives for flavoring. Now chives is not the same as scallions. A lot of places we go to and it really irritates me is I will order a baked potato and they'll tell me that it comes with sour cream, butter, and chives. And then they deliver the baked potato and it's not chives. It's scallions. Scallions has is essentially the stock of an onion so it's got an onion flavor it's not the same chives has a garlic flavor or garlicky flavor to it two different things so I wish restaurants would stop saying that their baked potato comes with chives and then it, and then they deliver onion scallions it's ridiculous it's two different things it's like someone saying oh did you want an apple and then bring you an orange Seriously. Anyway, I add chives and I add this product. Now this I got from my knitting ladies. This is Rana who told, told me about this. It's called tahin. It's a Latin American flavoring and I get the one that has a blue top. The reason for that is the blue top one as opposed to the green top one. The blue top one is a lower sodium. And this one per teaspoon. The sodium level is 138. And I put about almost a teaspoon. So the 138 milligrams, that's not too bad. And it adds a lot of flavor. It's surprising. Love this stuff. All right, so I'm going to shut up now. I'll show you what the basic ingredients are. And I'll do lots of close-up. Also, did this, <laughs> my channel did not become a cooking channel. I'm just doing a little bit more cooking inside Wanda, believe it or not. Because some cities that we've gone to, I've gone to Yelp, and it may be Yelp. I'm, I punch in restaurants and and the four the four stars in Yelp have been very disappointing. The restaurants they're not four stars, they're more like two stars. So, so I'm a little little bit disappointed with Yelp's restaurant rating. So we're gonna try four squares. It's another app for businesses and that one has a I believe 1 to 10 rating so I'm only going to go to 8 and above restaurants and see how that rating system actually measures up. All right, let me I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on because it's getting very warm. We are still in Galveston and Walter is getting a haircut so and he's going to fend for himself for lunch today and so am I but I'm making soup.
this is how I make my instant noodle soup. It's lower in sodium for me. And I like the taste of it. The reason for the roses is that today is Saturday, May 8th. And tomorrow, May 9th, Sunday, is Mother's Day. So I went to Kroger's the other day. And I bought two dozen red roses. And this is what's left of them. And I've been, every time there is a, I've given all the ladies around us in the Sardine Park one red rose and wish them a happy Mother's Day and everyone else that's been walking by or walking their dogs I've given them one red rose it's just up well thank you for watching this episode of instant noodle soup my version bye And by the way, Walter calls this the, oh my God, you're going to boil water episode again.